Ecajanuts Cloudos here, and this is just uh, probably a vlog, kind of. Um, yeah, so I have been back to work for about a well, not about, but it's been a week since I returned to work. Now it's the weekend, first weekend after work. Um, so you do notice that the streaming has stopped because of work. I, I just really want to say that, uh, really want to thank some of, um, all of you guys actually for continuing on, supporting and in my last video and some of your comments were really helpful to me. Uh, and I just, uh, yeah, just want to thank you for all that support. So, I am back in work and, well, with regards to my vision, it's not, it's the same, it has not gotten better in my right eye. Um, doctors say it won't get better because it's, uh, yeah, I mean, they have dealt with a lot of this kind of symptom before. Uh, Cano occlusion and it's very low chance the the best chance you have is really at uh, if something was done at the golden hour which is like within one two hours of the incident which is almost impossible unless you are in the hospital already so to speak um but uh I, yeah, I mean, it doesn't affect me too much, I would say, because most of my anything that I need a clear vision on, I still have my other left eye. This is left, and the camera might be sweeping it around, or whatever it is, but trust me, this is left. Um, so, yeah, uh, it will be strange because you, uh, not having one eye means you cannot gauge distance with visually. You could sort of gauge it in your mind based on your knowledge of how things are, but you can't be exactly 100% sure because you don't have two eyes. The, to gauge it for you so your brain is depending like it doesn't have full information to judge the uh, distances especially for <laughs> uh, moving things and I would say like like patterns on the floor actually so you know there are certain areas like uh, like maybe in bowling alleys you see the wooden lanes right and then it cuts off to like carpeting <laughs> uh, if you have those kind of bowling alleys or, or anywhere where there are tiles and cut off to carpeting now the floor is flat <laughs> but because of the difference in pattern your brain starts to think oh is there a step there because you know a sudden, there's a sudden change in the floor. Is, is there a <laughs> is there a step or is there not a step? And the brain kinds of want to protect you, so it will think of the more dangerous one, which is there is a step, <laughs> which there isn't. So uh, it's, it's been weird for some things and and moving things as well. When when things are moving towards you towards me per se with one uh, eye it gets uh, gets really freaky sometimes because your brain will try to safeguard you as I have said it will try to make things uh, go out of proportion to alert you so if you see something running past, uh, running towards uh, me if I see something running towards me it will <laughs> brain kind of triggers and says oh watch out there's something 
there and it sort of enlarges it <laughs> like you see a, a cat I, I saw a cat like running up the stairs and I was at the top of the stairs and I almost freak out <laughs> well I don't I don't really per se freak out but I just you know kind of taken aback <laughs> because the cat looks huge it looks big but when it comes up to my level oh it's just like any other regular cat size because the brain kinds of whoa there's something coming your way and you need to move away <laughs> and it gives an alertness of that thing so it, it, it emphasizes the cat to be really huge yeah it's it's been weird but aside from that um yeah i, I think it's like reading is the only other thing that affects me especially if the words are really tiny if the words are sort of uh, i won't say big but I, I don't seem to need the accessibility function on my computer yet and i hope i don't need it ever <laughs> to you know the magnifying glass or something like that. um yeah but it, those are really like fine print uh, or a whole chunk of text in one <laughs> layer like that uh, that could get me <laughs> would require a bit more focus and concentration so yeah so uh, yeah well it's been okay um, my bosses are quite understanding and and uh, yeah I've been thinking to get back to YouTube once a week as I mentioned uh, since I'm not on hospital leave anymore I can't do like streaming every day so but I do think I I do intend to stream uh, sometimes maybe because for those uh, longer games like what I was playing the Rise of Tomb Raider is it's gonna be weird if I make like episodes one hour one hour or half hour half hour which is kind of my episode uh, my episode durations are actually like 10 20 minutes so for those long gameplays I might I think streaming would be better but I might do some editing after the stream so there will be a mix of streamed videos and non-stream <laughs> yeah I so KJ has been helping all the before the he's actually still uploading all the Dragon Ball stuff <laughs> but the uh, FFB for those who are here for the FFB content yeah, I've been taking it a bit slow now so I don't I won't be able to say rush to the events when they come out per se but I am still playing it so yeah that's that but uh, yeah I really thank you for your support and I do sincerely hope that you continue to support this channel and what I do here uh, yeah I will get by with one eye <laughs> it's uh it's weird but uh, yeah a lot of uh, my friends also have been asking whether it would get better or well the doctors say it uh, it won't as I said earlier so but it's one thing to to hope that it would get better and it's also one thing to accept <laughs> that it might not get better um, you know because uh, if you hope to the point that you don't you deny the actual reality of the now it's not really ideal <laughs> uh, because you end up like you're not dealing with the situation and 
then again, the other swing of the pendulum would be to to accept <laughs> to the point where you don't hope at all for it to get better. I mean, because hoping is part of being human, I would say. If you have hope, you would want things to be better, and that is good for all of us, <laughs> even if it doesn't. It's always good to have hope. So I am sort of trying to be living in the between. <laughs> I do hope because uh, there, are man there have been many miracles that happened to me already. Right, that even doctors couldn't even explain. But uh, at the same time, this is what I'm going through now and I have to deal with with it and, and live accordingly now that this has happened what I need to take uh, steps I need to take and that is probably yeah probably the best thing I can do right now but uh, I'm still glad that uh, I'm able to talk to you guys <laughs> through this and and really thank you for all your support. So with that, I think that's an end of this vlog. I'm... Well, it's Sunday, so I'm going to stream a bit. And maybe do a bit of video editing and then I'll see you in the next one. Pretty soon. Bye!